In today's episode, you will learn how to make a message notification system using Arduino, NodeMCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, and Blink application. We have been using GSM modules for notification or alert messages. GSM modules are most commonly used for monitoring the sensors whenever the sensor value exceeds a predefined value a notification message is sent to the owner. A major problem with the GSM module is that you cannot monitor the sensors in real time. A sending and receiving a message takes time. This problem of monitoring the sensor in real time can be solved by using the Node MCU module. With the help of Node MCU module, you can monitor the sensors in real time. And also, it can be programmed to send notification or alert messages whenever a predefined value is exceeded. So this way you don't need to monitor the values all the time. One of the major advantage of using the notification widget in Blink application is that even if the application is running in background still you are informed through a notification message which at this point works just like the GSM module. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components that we will need for this project are number one Arduino, number two a variable resistor or potentiometer which will be used as a sensor. As you can see I have already soldered three jumper wires so that it can be easily interfaced with the Arduino. Number three, Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Number four, five by seven centimeter wearable board. Number five, 470 microfarad capacitors. We will need two of these. Number six, female DC socket. Number seven, 7805 voltage regulator. First leg is the input, middle one is the ground and the third one is the output. Number 8, LED. The longer leg is the anode and the shorter one is the cathode. Number 9, 330 ohm resistor and finally number 10, female headers. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This project is based on my previous two tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi board and how to download and use the Blink library and how to fix the USB UART driver error. While in this tutorial, you will learn how to make a power supply for Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so that it can be easily powered up using a 12 volt adapter or battery. The tutorial links are given in the description. So this is the final circuit that we'll be using today. If you are using Node MCU with Arduino or Mega and you're not using many sensors, then you don't need this power supply. You can power up the Node MCU module using Arduino or Mega. Let me tell you once again, if you are using many sensors, then I recommend you should use a separate power supply for this. Let's have a look at the complete circuit diagram. This schematic is designed in Ketsoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. This is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. As I said earlier, if you are not using many sensors, then you don't need this power supply. In this project is we will be using only one sensor which is a variable resistor. So that's why we don't need this power supply. That's why the VN pin of the node MCU is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and the ground pin of the node MCU is connected with the Arduino's ground. But if you have connected many sensors then simply connect a, a wire from the output of the voltage regulator with the VN pin of the node MCU. As the Node MCU will communicate with Arduino through serial communication, so for this we need a serial port. As I always say, never use the Arduino's default serial port for communication with other devices. 
use Arduino's default serial port only for the debugging purposes. So now the question is if we are using the Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes then how we will communicate with the Node MCU module. Well my friends no worries at all. We can define multiple serial ports using the software serial library which I will explain in programming. So as you can see the Node MCU RX pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 3 and the Node MCU TX pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 2 and the ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino while the remaining two clicks of the variable resistor are connected with 3.3 volts and ground. So now as you can see the variable resistor is uh, connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino and uh, the other pins are connected with 3.3 volts and uh, ground. And similarly the node MCU module VN pin is connected with the 5 volt and the ground wire is connected with the Arduino's ground and the node MCU TX and RX pins are connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3. So pin number 2 is the RX and pin number 3 is the TX. So we will connect the TX pin of the node MCU module with the RX pin of the Arduino and uh, similarly the RX pin of the node MCU will be connected with the TX pin of the Arduino. So that's it about the interfacing. First of all, open the Blink application. Set the project name as Notification. If you want, you can set any other name. Click on the Choose Device and select Node MCU. Make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Then click on the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID, which will be then used in the programming. This is the authentication token. We will simply copy this and paste in our programming. Now click anywhere on the screen and search for the notification widget and click to aid. Click again on the screen and this time search for the gauge. Our basic application setup is completed. Now let's discuss the programming. In this project we are using two sketches, one for the Arduino and other one for the Node MCU. So first let's discuss the Arduino programming. We start with hash include software serial dot h. Hash include means that this is a preprocessor directive and dot h means that this is a header file. So with the help of this you can make multiple serial ports. So let's define a serial port with the name node MCU on pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Software serial node MCU 2,3. Pin number 2 is the RX and pin number 3 is the TX. Integer V resistor is equal to A0. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino. Integer V data is equal to 0. This is a variable of type integer and will be used to store the value of variable resistor. String C data is, you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop function. Wide means that this function is not turning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments is the input. Serial.begin9600 activates the serial communication and 9600 is the baud rate. 
This will be used for the debugging purposes. Note MCU dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication with node MCU module which is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino and 9600 is the baud rate. Pin mode is a function and it takes two arguments is the input, the pin number or pin name which is the resistor and the status which can be input or output. Then starts a while loop function. V data equals analog read a V resistor reads the variable resistor and stores the value in V data. C data equals C data plus V data plus then there is a comma. Then we make a string message. Comma will be used as delimiter and sent to the node MCU module. Then there is a delay of one second. And then at the end we empty the C data variable for storing the new value. Now let's discuss the node MCU programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the node MCU board. And you also install a driver for the USB UART. I have a separate video on this. The link is given in the description. This is the authentication number which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted over here this is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password. String my string. My string is a variable of the type string and will be used to store the complete message received from Arduino, which consists of the sensor data. Character or data. These are some variables of the type integer which will be used for storing the sensor data. But as I'm using one sensor so I will be using only first value integer t flag is equal to zero this function sends Arduino's uptime every second to virtual pin one in the eight widgets reading frequency should be set to push this means that you define how often to send data to the blink application then starts a white set of function First we activate the serial communication and then use the blink.begin function which takes three arguments, the authorization, the SSID and password and finally we use the setInterval function and tell the compiler about the sensor value 1 which is basically a user defined function. The function is executed every one second. Then starts a while loop function. If serial dot available equals equals zero, this condition means if the node MCU module hasn't received any data from the Arduino, then simply keep executing these two functions. If serial dot available greater than zero, this condition means if the node MCU module has received data from Arduino, then simply read the serial port and make a string message. This condition make sure that the entire message is received string i is equal to get value my string a comma which is used as a separator and a zero first value is equal to i dot to integer we simply convert the string to integer and then at the end we just empty the string since the value one as i said is a user defined function which is used to send the notification message to the Blink application and is also used to send real-time values. This function consists of two if conditions which checks if the value is greater or less than the predefined value which is 100. So if the value of the variable resistor is less than or equal to 100 then a normal value notification message will be sent to the Blink application. The blink dot notify function is used for sending the notification or alert message while the purpose of the flag is to stop the unnecessary repetition of code. And similarly when the variable resistor value is greater than 100 then value exceeded a notification messenger will be sent to the blink application. Blink dot virtual write v3 comma s data 
This function is used to send the value of the variable resistor to the virtual pin V3 which we define in the Blink application. Gate value is a user defined function and it takes three arguments is the input data separator and the index. This function is used to split the string message using comma as the delimiter. These programs can be downloaded from my blog page. The links are given in the description. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this project in action. First of all, power up the Arduino. Open the Blink application. As you can see, currently the value is 44. Now by rotating the knob of the variable resistor, we can increase and decrease the value. As you can see, these values can be monitored in real time. While the application is running in background, still you are informed through a notification message that the value is exceeded or the value is normal. Then you can click on the notification message and monitor the sensor values in real time. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.